The Boys and Girls Club of Oshkosh turned 52 this year. Over the last couple years, we've seen a significant increase in the number of kids that we're serving. And staff have gone above and beyond to be really thoughtful in the amount of meaningful programs that they're running. And what that means for us is we are out of space. We at this point are turning kids away and using different sites in order to make it work for us. But it's time for us to look at our space and look at what we can do. So we've decided to increase our space. We've decided to renovate our space to make it more usable for kids. And then with that came the expansion of adding on a new admin center and a new teen center so that our kids have a place to go. What we're most excited about really is the collaboration for the community center. So when this community center is built, we've asked all of our agencies that are coming together to be a part of an education series. There's a lot of nonprofits that run a lot of amazing programs and we wanna make sure that we're getting the word out. So all of these agencies that are coming together all have something to share. So how great would it be if we all worked together to get that message out to the families that really need it the most? I've had an opportunity to look at the renderings and the drawings of the community center and, and see the plans. And I, I think what's most exciting is creating a really attractive and exciting space for youth in the Oshkosh community. I think their attention is so divided these days that we need to make sure uh, that we together can attract them to um, these great opportunities and then sneak in once in a while uh, career development and the academics and things like that. Uh, so we're really excited about being able to partner in, in those efforts. So Ride's most excited about uh, the completion of the project in that we will be here. We serve the community in some capacities, um, but from a clinic perspective and having physical office space, it'll be pretty cool to, to have that type of presence here in Oshkosh. I'm most excited about the community center because I think it will offer us the platform we need to reach the best number of families. I think that we can provide a lot of financial independence through our teaching because in my opinion, knowledge is power and the more knowledge they have, the more powerful they are. Well, there are so many kids in this community that, that have a need, that, that, that need some help just to, just to continue to grow as, as individuals and grow into young adults. The, the club is gonna offer many more opportunities for them to learn about life, to learn about life skills, to learn about relationship building, to learn about how to relate to others, and being able to connect resources that are available throughout the city uh, on an on-premises basis will be incredibly important to them. I have been with this organization for many years, and it's scary to think um, what it would look like if we didn't have some of the resources and programs that we do. I truly can't imagine what some of our families would have to go through if they weren't given some of the support they were given. We've taken part in the adoptive family for many years. It's meant more than you know to us that people care enough to share with another family. We've gotten the free meals for Thanksgiving and Christmas. We take part in the dental bus. There's so many things that the club has offered and given us that I've been able to pull myself back up because 12 years ago I lost everything. Lori kept encouraging me to contact somebody at Fox Valley Tech. So in 15 I graduated with my associate degree in business management. In 16 I graduated with my marketing degree. And baking was always my passion. I was going to look to open a new bakery, but then the job I have now presented itself. I managed the bakery department there with well, at this point I have 10 employees, and in the last year I bought my own house again. The club means everything to us, and I don't even know how to thank them for everything they've done. Sometimes more families need more help, and we're not always able to do that. You know, we can give out a gas card, we can give out a grocery card, or, you know, help with rent assistance, but at the end of the day we really want to partner with the agencies that do it the best. So with the addition of the community center, we will bring agencies together to help work together. It'll give people the opportunity to really understand what agencies do in town and how do they work better together. And while we at the Boys and Girls Club can do a ton for our kids, this can do a ton for our families and really take it to the next level of service.